a very good morning to all of you welcome to a and b exam forum student in previous year series we have come up with a new chapter in mathematics that is statistic and in statistic uh, in today session we are going to see the concept of mode and the previous year question related to this topic okay and as usual all the previous year questions which we are presenting in this session are basically from the rrb exam because rrb generally asks from the elementary statistic okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session so as usual the important sub topics that you should prepare before going to the exam okay moreover one thing you should understand that in this session we are not covering the theory portion okay we are going to directly see the previous year questions and try to solve them okay so the important sub topic is the concept of mode what exactly is a mode why it is used that you should know okay so that so that you can also appreciate the concept of mode in statistics okay then very important is how to find the mode okay that is very important how to find the mode and what Uh, is the mode for ungrouped data or raw data? Okay, like raw data, it can be in the form of x one, x two, and so on. Okay, I will not tell in detail. Just a brief of that. Okay, if uh, the data is in group, then there are two possibility. Either it can be in discrete or it can be continuous frequency distribution. In discrete frequency distribution, you will have frequency as well. okay along with the observation you have will have frequency what is frequency frequency means that this observation has repeated this much time okay for example if i say 5 and here frequency is 2 so 5 is repeated two times in the data set okay in the continuous uh, frequency distribution instead of frequency you will have class for, for example 0 to 10 then 10 to 20 and so on okay generally this uh width or this interval is commonly fixed okay so this is the basic of the mode i will not tell the formula in this particular slide as and when the question come i will tell you okay so the first question is on your screen student if you see this question you will find a, a very big question and a very big numbers are there but mode is very simple concept okay you need to remember mode for raw data or ungrouped data this is ungrouped data because they have not given frequency on they have not given any classes this is a first type that is ungrouped data okay this is of type ungrouped data okay so the marks obtained by seven student are these okay and uh, as i was telling you that mode is the ha most frequently occurring observation most frequently occurring observation okay what are observation here these are the observation seven observation are there so which of the following has the most occurring in nature okay so most occurring you can say most this which is have highest frequency okay frequency means most occurring a uh, frequency observation so it is basically a frequency let's see what is a frequency so if you see uh, 43 it has not come uh, more than once 44 not more than once 65 it has come two times so 65 has come two times 41 uh, only one time 53 only one time and uh, 65 we have already covered 62 only one time so this 65 has occurred two times whereas all others have less frequency less than two okay so this is basically the mode a very simple one so as you can see option b should be the correct answer and this question was asked in ntpc okay so option b is the correct answer for this question okay let's see the next question again it is from the type ungrouped data ungrouped data or the raw data so 
as i told you mode is nothing it is a most frequent data okay so if you see one has occurred only one time one by two if i say one two three times uh, three by four has come one time one by four has come two times this and this and two has come one time two by four has come one time so we have one by two which has occurred three times which had occurred three times and this is its frequency and is the highest among all of them so option b is the right answer okay let's see the next question uh, this is very simple it's look like difficult but a very very simple so if the mode of the following data is 12 then find the value of k okay so as you know uh, that highest frequency is a mode so he already told that the mode is 12 so 12 should occur maximum time in this data set so 1 2 2 is it and if you see other data like 11 it has also come two times since 12 is the mode so therefore k should be 12 only okay therefore option d is the correct answer okay understood a very simple one since uh, we know that mode is highest frequent uh, data but here if you see 11 and 12 both are 2 so k should be 12 only then only mode can be 12 okay so option d is the right answer let's see the next question it is discrete frequency distribution okay it is group data and distribution it is a of type group data i will write for you it is from the group data and uh, it is for discrete frequency distribution this question if you see it is very very simple they have not asked uh, the mode but what the question says which size shirt is in most demand so we know that the most demand means it is asking highest frequency and highest frequency is nothing but the mode okay and if you see the frequency uh, is the sales per day here okay so the maximum sale means ma more demand okay and the maximum demand if you see in this table is 120 and 120 correspond to the size of shirt of 28 so option c should be the right answer okay so option c is the right answer for this question okay for group data in discrete frequency distribution mode is very simplest one okay so option c is the right answer coming to the last type of uh, this mode it is again the group data but it is known as continuous frequency distribution continuous frequency distribution okay and as i told you continuous means there will be some classes okay these are called the classes okay the first uh, thing you should know about the model classes okay uh, you need to find a model class what is model class that i will tell you okay and uh, if you see the question a survey uh, conducted by group of student 20 households okay in local area result to the following frequency table uh, to the member of the household family so if the size of family between one to three there are seven families between three to five nine families are there and so on you need to find the mode of the given data okay student uh, remember the function uh, this mode for continuous frequency distribution in such type of question you need to remember this formula how this formula has come that we are not covering in the session okay so frequency um, highest frequency that is mode is equal to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by f1 minus f0 plus f1 minus f2 into h this is very long formula and you will ask what are f1 f0 lh that i am going to tell you okay in some book you will also find in denominator 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 that is also okay but for simplification i think this is a good formula that you can remember okay so 
if you see these are the frequency basically number of family means numbers are there how many are there so it is a frequency okay so first see the maximum frequency so maximum frequency out of these number is 9 okay you designated 9 as f1 okay and f1 has corresponding class okay this is 3 to 5 class it is called modal class okay it is called modal class okay proceeding to uh, the frequency that is 7 you should take it as f0 and after that after 9 after f1 that is 2 you take it as f2 okay so you will have l okay i i have not tell l so in the modal class the lower limit is called l and the interval that is 3 5 minus 3 okay that is called h okay understood and uh, f1 f0 we have already covered and f2 we have already covered okay understood i repeat once again l is the lowest frequency of the modal class what is modal class so first we need to find the highest uh, occurring observation that is 9 we make it as f1 immediately you put proceeding to f1 f0 after that f2 okay and in the modal class the difference between this class is as you can see h it is similar in all the classes but uh, for this modal class you should know and the lower limit of this particular class is l okay understood so let's solve it so l is what 3 f1 is 9 f0 is 7 and uh, again 9 minus 7 plus f1 is what f1 is 9 and f2 is 2 f2 is 2 and h is what h is 2 h how it comes 5 minus 3 that is 2 so if you solve let's solve it 3 plus 2 divided by this is 2 plus 7 7 8 9 into 2 so you have 3 plus 4 by 9 3 plus 4 by 9 is what it is 31 by 9 and if you solve 31 by 9 it is 3.444 okay so option b for this question is the right answer okay so for this question you need to have the formula okay so if you know the formula then only you can solve this question okay so option b is the right answer so we have seen a few categories of question from this mode topic for technician grade signal one uh, this topic is not so much important okay they should know the standard deviation uh, measure of dispersion basically but for those who are going for the technician uh, grade 3 exam then they should see all these questions okay and uh, thank you and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box uh, we will be try to answer those questions okay so thank you for watching have a nice day